we focus on the most threatened species in many ways, so we need to know which species are the most highest priorities. To know that, we need to have data comparing one species to all the other species. We could not work in our coordinated breeding and conservation programs without having uh, reliable data. I cannot stress enough how important and crucial and fundamental data is to the work that we do. We need a lot of information on clutch size, on age at maturity, at growth rates, feeding behaviour, temperature profiles, all information that you can get from captive animals. It's also about trade routes, trades, volumes and other aspects. Feed that into Zims and we can use it not just for better management of other captive animals but also to get a better understanding of what the wild population are doing and therefore focus on their conservation more effectively. We're not starting from scratch. Zoos and aquariums around the world have been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years. They've got that knowledge, they've got that information, they've got that evidence that governments need to help them make right decisions. Coordination, in my opinion, is the key word uh, for achieving conservation and uh, to have this uh, data, reliable data, by a recognized institution, scientific institution, is very important. The expected but still somewhat surprising aspect is how little data there is for many species. The great positive surprise is that sometimes there is data for species that you never expected there to be data for. Even the data that you think may not be important, it is.